Okay, this is uh, episode 110, the season finale. It's called Marco. And I'm Peter Gould, the co-creator and executive producer of Better Call Saul. And I wrote and directed this episode. Hey, everybody. This is Vince Gilligan, co-creator of uh, Better Call Saul. It can't be done. Hi, it's Bob Odenkirk. I play Jimmy McGill. Michael McKee and I play Chuck McGill. Diane Mercer, I'm one of the producers. I'm Thomas Goldbich, the music supervisor. I'm Chris McCaleb. I co-edited this episode with Kelly Dixon. In fact, you edited this very scene. I sure did. Nice Look job, Chris. Look at him. Cut that film. And this, uh, this little coin trick was uh, something that uh, our, our script coordinator, uh, Micah Craddy, found for us. And he made it look really easy. Yeah, he and, did it for us in the room, right? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. He did. And then Mel... It always worked. And, and, and I'm so sorry, Mel's not here. I hope he won't mind my saying that he, it, it wasn't as easy for Mel as it was for Micah. I think it's the altitude. You're a mile up in Albuquerque. I That's, think it has something to do with atmosphere. We're going <laughs> to say, we're, we're gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to lick your finger. That's the key. That is part of the key. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, he didn't lick it his has, finger. It well, tag, it, he used the moisture from the, the beer bottle. It's very it. dry in Albuquerque. It, it really is. is. How did they find that shirt? Bob's shirt? Yeah, Good that question. shirt is incredible. How did they find my old hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, they both came from the drapes of a Holiday Inn. <laughs> so, so, Bob, what that do you think when you're playing head. when you're playing Jimmy Younger? What What are you thinking about? Is there anything that you do differently? Just let my hyperness run free. <laughs> my natural uh, <clears throat> hyper energy driven energy. Uh, yeah, you know, I do. I pray for the good CGI. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, I remember uh, when I knew that there was Slippin' Jimmy was a different guy was when you, we did a, um, a, a hair test mm -hmm. and that you shot in Albuquerque and we watched it in, uh, and it, you, had, you had the long wig, this yeah. wig, and suddenly... You were uh, you were kind of you just had this, you walked in and you had this different jazzier. attitude. You were jazzier. Your shoulders more, moved more. A little you bit more bounced. crazy energy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it's you know, look, I was young once. <laughs> I, actually, I actually did have. I that remember hair. that. <laughs> I actually did have that hair. That was my hair. Wow. Essentially. Wow, well, that's great. Um, I'm from Chicago, and uh, I have a great. College ID with that very hairstyle. I should show it to you. Oh, guys. I want to. I want to see that. It's, uh, it's uh, I look like a con, uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Diane, do you want to talk about with, with this uh, this look, this flashback look? Oh yeah, this is uh, we're using this bleach bypass look that actually was pitched um, by Terry McDonough on episode three when we did our first uh, flashback. So um, we've kind of changed it a little bit depending on the scene. Um, and this bar scene is obviously very hey, contrasty and, and dark, but um, this kind of bluish, bleach bypass look was kind of what we... The storytelling, you know, And Ted, device. our colorist, created. And uh, Ted Brady, our colorist, worked on that with uh, Arthur Albert, the DP, and you guys, obviously, all of us in the room together kind of figuring that stuff out. Look, this shot... You guys shot this with the Phantom, right? The that, super high-speed camera? That's right. Yeah, we had the Phantom for this episode... And we made lots of use of it. <laughs> and hats off to uh, Jordan's, uh, Jordan, Jordan Sloven for doing the focus pull on yes. that, which was very tricky. To it do. was, and it's timed perfectly. It's and here, and now here we are in the in the in the present day. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice shot. I like yeah, that shot. super. What lens do you suppose that was? Was the one on the camera <laughs> <laughs> out the front, right? Yeah, shoots yeah, right out the front. You, it's we used, great. We decided to use the cat and the lens on the front for this yeah. for this for this mm -hmm. episode only. You know yeah. what's fun about this uh, location is it's within easy walking distance of a warehouse. Uh, this is on the uh, uh, northwest side of Albuquerque, and it's within easy walking distance of a warehouse in which we shot the very first pilot episode of Breaking Bad. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's kind of fun. In a, in a warehouse, not a studio. Because it was before, well, actually, Q Studios uh, are home for most of 
pretty much all of Breaking Bad and uh, Better Call Saul was just being completed at that point, and I think it was booked out for for that that first uh, that first one. Oh, I thought we were the first. I thought we were the first ones into Q. No, I'm sorry, you're right. We were. It was just the finishing touches were being put yeah. on it, but it wasn't open yet. That's what it was. So, did you have a? Uh, could you hear the rain in the warehouse when it rained? Yeah, and I heard birds. I kicked everybody out at one point. We're doing the hand job scene, and uh, I kicked everybody out because I thought the, the uh, uh, crew was uh, making noise. It turned out it was birds up in the rafters. <laughs> and, and it's really, it's really bad. You can get those recordings now of distressed birds, and you play it in a little speaker, and the birds avoid it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there's birds in trouble down there. I'm not going down there. That's what they actually have to keep people keep them from shitting on people's cars. Oh, this is oh, they uh, scare them away. This oh, is man. better oh, better than the fake owl. This the is plastic oh, yeah. owl, but it's the sonic equivalent <laughs> yes. of the fake owl. Exactly right. I'm gonna go get one of those. I get shit all over my car. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things one of the things I love Bob about this these two sequences back to back is that you see slipping Jimmy, and he's got so much bounce. And then here we come to Jimmy yeah. McGill, and he after what happened with Chuck in the last episode, he is colorless he's drained he's just he's detached from himself you're saying he's a grown-up now <laughs> oh. is that what being a grown-up is well i mean that i don't want to be a grown-up it can look like that it can't it i'm can. not saying that's what it is that's right he's burdened patrick fabian patrick fabian yeah patrick, patrick fabian, fabian. Again, my friend. again playing this character with kind of a positive energy of putting forth this positive energy that's also putting a damper on everybody around him. <laughs> 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 weirdly, like, kind of keeps it positive somehow. Yeah. His, his put-downs or, well, he's... Well, he's not all over the place. He's one thing. He's a, yeah. he's yeah. a he's right. legitimate guy, and according to his own lights, and, and he is. He's the kind of guy who fucks you over and then looks at you with a smile and goes, there's where we end up. <laughs> <laughs> I love his reaction. I know we went past oh, it. His reaction when you say, we bring up the pig fucker thing again. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he just kind of swallows his react. He just yeah, takes because, a little swallow. He goes, well. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> like, that wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite moment. <laughs> And I hope it doesn't There's define that our wonderful relationship. trash can. <laughs> Please yeah. great. let me kick it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little thing raised under their yeah, hand there. Yes. And, the, yeah. and she was doing that in the um, in the in the lobby too. She has this little shake with her foot. Like yeah. She has a, she oh, has she, this, no, she does. She has this repressed yeah. energy. Is it the cane? Yeah. She what does. Is it? Yeah. I, and I I love this moment because too. these these they finally get the hug. That was yeah. He's, that is that's sweet. <laughs> She's got a real kind of Jean Arthur thing, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. You know Jean I mean? Arthur was so underrated. She's oh, so she great, was fabulous. And Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Uh -huh. She's, she's yeah. just, just lovely. Just, yeah, and you're right. And Ray, Shane, for God's sake, mm -hmm. oh yeah, playing totally against type. Oh, she's yeah. awesome in that. She and, has. And Ray does have that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and she has that that crisp diction that that is from that yeah. those '30s movies. Oh, hey. Written and directed Look. by Peter Gould. That's good. <laughs> nice we didn't want to miss that, Peter. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it back. Yeah. It yes. Here it comes. Oh, God. Uh, here it comes. This scene is so fucking Long. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I kept thinking, this guy, that nobody but Tim is talking now for six pages. <laughs> and I, I'm just awash with admiration. She's so great. These so ladies, great. these folks, the background yeah. here, they're in a number of scenes throughout the whole season. Yeah. We kind of got to know them a little bit. And uh, great group. Yeah. Now, did anyone get, uh, How you guys were here for like 12 hours straight, something like that, 13 hours straight? Yes, it was a long day for them, but they were well managed by Peter. And, and Bob um, Bob also started, the, I started off the day with this very earnest little little uh, little talk about how they were an important part of the scene. Lady. And then here, came, Bob came in and just just was so human and so funny and reminded them that he hadn't actually crapped from any, anybody's roof. <laughs> that was just, that was just, it was just pretend. Well, it's like your mom. You know, you want to make sure she understands. <laughs> <laughs> the TV isn't a documentary at all. 
Is now was this one day of shooting or did it go more than one day? No, this is this is one. It wasn't even a full day. We actually Jesus, ended really? up doing uh, some of the montage. On the, this this is fascinating too. This is uh, Kelly Dixon cut this scene. Yeah. That shot is actually running backwards. Yeah, she she, she thought, manipulated those inserts a lot. Yes, wow. But they really add an agitation to the scene. She did do a, an amazing job with the little speed ups and change ups yeah. in those. Yeah, that's true. They add a fractured kind of moment to the scene. It's it's one of the reasons where Peter, you mentioned that you'd shot this in one and you had a take that you liked, but cutting it up with this kind of stuff, it helps fuck it up. Yeah. You know, it helps it helps you We're get in his that. head. Yeah. It's, the sound design is also so <laughs> subtle and yeah. interesting. Yeah. It really is. And I hope those of you who are listening to this, when you watch the episode, you watch it on a format like a Blu-ray or or whatever you've got that's got the full sound because the uh, the sound work that our sound team did in this scene is is just spectacular and very subtle also. The plosives talk about is that the yes. word for them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, because of course <laughs> this mic, yeah. this microphone actually is not recording any sound whatsoever. This is all when when he does a plosive P. That's all added. That was all. That was all added. They didn't run the uh, real audio through this mic. Uh, we were we were bummed when we found that out. I was uh, looking for it in the uh, ISO mics. I'm not sure it was physically possible. It may have been blown out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would have been. Oh, you mean like it's more impossible. of a prop than a yes, real mic? Yes, it's real. It's just a prop. Okay, Although, good. what a great prop! It, what Did a great Bob prop Barker it is. Miss it? <laughs> oh, uh, we had to slip it out from under his no, bed. No, that mic is awesome. They, you found one, right? That's a real one. That is a real one. Yeah. They're, they only made two. <laughs> <laughs> One was buried with Gene. Uh, What's his name? Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Actually, the mic died first, and they had to. <laughs> so you to go they always had the plot the, together, to though. <laughs> I, I also I'm not dead I, yet. I have to give props to uh, Larissa Kondrecki, who who did the episode where we introduced this bingo world. Oh. Because she is a bingo expert, and so I was able to to study that scene from episode seven. That's why we hired and, her. And think about that's right. It's it's we just it's horses for courses, really. <laughs> and I'm an expert on breakdowns and confusion, so this was this <laughs> a perfect episode for me. I just want to. Oh, their faces are so great. Yeah, they really do a great job in here. And you were, Peter, you were saying the camera B. Operator Phil, yes, right. Caught these great reactions as he cracks up. I mean, they're real reactions. Right? They I mean, are. Yeah. People they are. People weren't asked to act. Yeah. They just were uh, forced to listen to me do that <laughs> line like twenty times, I, I, and they naturally uh, responded. Yeah, and, and I think that they're 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 not stone faced. They're subtle, but they're subtle. And that and was, they're really listening and really they're, waiting. They're yeah. really listening and really waiting. And get it back to the game. And yeah. that's that's always it, it it always freaks me out when you've got a big crowd like this and you know that you no matter how sharp you are, you can't watch every extra and to make sure that they're all focused. And so, you know, the fact that these folks were all in the scene and they knew that, I think made a big difference. I find I can't when I'm directing, I can't watch more than like two people. It, if you have three or four people, it just it's yeah. just like you can't right. keep track of everything that's going and, on. And, and you know that's why I'm always tend to do an extra safety take when I've got a big group, uh, just because just because of that I know I'm going to see things in post that that I would not have seen on yeah. the day. There's that one guy looking right down the lens. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. For a second, <laughs> and yeah, then then, then we go crying to Diane. That's right. Diane, that's that's Diane. Diane. Diane changes eyes. Can you fix? Can you fix that one extra? <laughs> Blind him. <laughs> And Diane, and we do can. it. I know you do it. <laughs> oh, if you if the folks listening knew how much invisible work was done uh, with little things like that, I mean, it, but, it, but Diane I, deserves a medal. I will her. say this scene, we really didn't do any. These no. people were so yeah, great. They were. We they didn't were, do any in here. They were, and that's uh, they were great. I love this was. Of course, Kelly figuring out which reactions to use here. It's a delicate balance. It's a very delicate balance. When to go to them and when to stay with Jimmy. And 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 I remember Kelly, it was it was like a physical effort to cut away from Bob. Yeah. Because we knew we had to see these folks. I love this lady. Oh, she's so great. She looks like Sylvia Sidney. Really sweet. Yeah, she does a little. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. It was a physical effort to cut away from this this performance. Yeah. But you had to do it. How many days did you spend working on this scene? This 
Oh, God. I don't think we actually want to quantify this it. episode. In the yeah, no, no, no comment. I, is that, is that just, a time? I'll just say, from my point of view, this episode is so much more complex than anything I've ever directed yeah. or really part. Clearly, oh, there's a lot of. Um, you can't usually tell. We have it, it deceptively usually, complex. Yeah. When you watch an episode, you usually uh, usually there's one or two big scenes that are very very complex. And I, I felt that this episode was sort of full of those. Yeah, you oh, gave yeah. yourself a challenge, man. And then, of course, we have two acts that are more or less a new TV show <laughs> in Cicero. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, yes. Yeah, it was a huge, huge episode. Huge story, kind it of was, big. And, oh, this is just This is just great. This is so great. You know what's amazing to me? I was talking to, to, to you and Bob before we did this. I, I, I laughed till I had tears coming down my face when I first watched this. Still, I love it to this. I, I can watch it over and over and over again. Other people I know, like my girlfriend and Holly, they don't laugh at all watching this scene because they think it's tragically sad. Well, it I, is. Kelly is it the could same. be both, right? Kelly, no, it is. Way. It is. Yeah. And Kelly, our editor, was the same. Uh, yeah, it was the same way. She looked at me funny as I was laughing behind her, sitting at the behind her <laughs> she, at the Avid. Yeah. She thought she'd made a mistake, and I, and it, it was that she's so with Jimmy. She's yeah. so invested that she felt bad, which is why we laugh because like, we're da- yes, damaged exactly. people. <laughs> like, I don't know. And like Michael says, both work. Both are. That's legit. right. Hey, here's a great uh, tune that uh, Mr. Mr. G found for us here. What, uh, yeah. what is this? This is Al Cooper, uh, Season of the sure. Witch, his cover of no, the Donovan no, track. No, no, this is... Uh, this is the Season of the Witch, this that's right. This is Season right. of the Witch. Yeah. Oh, this is. oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you thinking right, of Puck right. Salad Alley, Annie? Uh, from, that comes yeah, in the opening. I wanted to talk about that, too. T- uh, Tony, Tony Joe White. Tony Joe White. Yeah, yeah, uh, such fantastic. a fantastic song. Yeah. You did such a great job in that. So talk about this guy. This was... Uh, yeah, this is Al Cooper. He was sort of a session player who had sort of his super sessions. Cooper, you know Al Cooper? Say, of course. And yeah. this is just one of those He wrote covers. this diamond ring. Yes. And uh, later started the Blues Project. Yep. Played with him until he was replaced by John John McDuffie. How deep you want to go with this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We have at least 38 minutes left. <laughs> this... Uh, this bar originally, as written, it was not a uh, not a German bar, and then we found this location, which is actually a German American club in Albuquerque. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. And uh, oh. and we we said instead of fighting what it is, let's 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 oh, play yeah. it up. There's great German and Polish bars, and yes. Irish bars, and that in Chicago and the Chicago area. Yeah. I was so grateful to have have you to bounce the Chicago stuff off of because I, I've been Chicago probably a total of like. Four or five days in my life, oh. and I love it. It is an amazing. Time. Yeah. Well, I met somebody from Cicero the other day, and we talked about the Cicero. She said we did a great job. I mean, I know Good. Cicero. How big is Cicero? Um, How much population would you think? Ten thousand? Oh no, 50, it's that. bigger than that. Uh, Hundred thousand. Say uh, fifty. 000. Fifty to fifty to seventy or something. It's weird. It's uh, Cicero feels like a neighborhood in a way that's uh-huh. a little bit bigger. Yeah. How far from than Chicago? a neighborhood? Um, eight, <laughs> fifteen miles. Yeah. Mm. I know and Kelly's it's only. It's probably in... even closer, actually, to just the city limits. It's probably like ten miles, mm. or not even. It's near the airport too. It's near O'Hare. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Because there are some flights over it. So you can tell we're getting to the end of the season because now there are a lot of hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, Mel Mel is so good in this episode, it, and he's so heartbreaking. Mel Rodriguez. He, Mel Rodriguez, yeah. Great guy. And he, he, he wanted to join us today, and unfortunately he had a, a situation that he had to attend to, but he was sad to miss out, as are we. But if you want to hear Mel's take on this, you can hear him on the uh, podcast. The That's Kirkland right. Saul podcast. That's right, and he talks about the accent and a, and a lot about the character. He it's cared a lot about his accent. And yeah. the weird thing is, you know, he was like, I don't want to do it too strong. And I'm like, oh my God. I mean, the real Chicago and some of the South Siders oh, and Lord. <laughs> yeah. It's so strong. It's Need like from another country. It's like, what? <laughs> I, didn't I used know. to work at a bike shop on the North Side and we had a, it was a South Side bike shop that had opened a North Side location. So they had their South Side workers, Cozy's bike shop in Chicago. And uh, these guys said tree, t- turdy tree, and they said <laughs> tree, they said tree, but hard, tree. That's and it, it was like, uh, yeah, it's a pretty strong accent in just a small neighborhood, really. You can I, bet see, I bet you it's vanishing, though. I bet all dialects are vanishing. I think it probably is, yeah. yeah. 
What was that old thing? I said everyone's going to sound like Tom Brokaw at a certain point. That's no, without like, the speech of yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to lose our L's all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of things to look forward to. <laughs> 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 old, old style. That's a real... That's a, oh, that, yeah. yeah. Old, old style. I kept right. looking on the label for the kid peeing in the, under the bridge. <laughs> but it's not on the... <laughs> uh, bottle label. It's on the can or the old can. There's, there's a kid. There's a kid. Well, that's, <laughs> the, that's what you tell it's each other when you're 17. <laughs> ah, this was this was uh, uh, for me anyway. This is a daring scene uh, to have two guys sit here and talk. And I think I always picture the audience wondering where the hell, where the fuck is this going? These two guys are sitting down and reminiscing, and and I like them both. But where is this? Where is this headed? Yeah. And, and it's super yeah, complicated that it's this a full act. Nice job, that's by the way. Essentially, two scenes. That's yeah. that's right. Long and, and you cut you cut this act. I did. And you did a spectacular. You did a great job. job. Oh, thanks. Great job, Chris. There's so much also about the how much they love and kind of hurt each other in the scene. There's so much subtlety in how they kind of interact, and you see them being old old friends, but you see also that there's a lot of pain. Each that's a very good time. point. I yeah. love the way you two play this, uh, Bob. I love when when he he says you were here and you didn't look me up. He he, you can see the hurt, but also him trying to hide it simultaneously. It's just very nicely, very subtle, nicely done. That's a beautiful shot. And the light slight dig on the car, which is so that's, sweet and yeah. really heartbreaking. Yeah. My brother had a Cutlass. That was, Did he? Yeah, he had a great Cutlass. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful car. That's kind of cool. The part of is so good. I've watched the scene so many times doing music, and his placement is so interesting. He just seems to really know like, really where to be and the way you guys cover so it. So real. So real. Yeah. Watching, never watching people who, do, who are doing a job on screen yeah. who really look like they're doing the job. Mm -hmm. Completely committed. What's great is you don't even notice it. Yep. Yeah. And then you go, wait a minute, this guy's a real bartender. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Ricky. Because you never doubted it. Ricky yeah. Stafari in, 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 in this he scene. Is. And he's, he is a bartender. And he's a Chicago <laughs> bartender. An yeah. And an actor. Very nice job. Very and, natural. And both he and uh, Keith, uh, Keith Kupfer, uh, who plays the sucker in this scene, they're both real Chicago actors. And... How about Myra? I'm sorry. Uh, she also on. was. She also was from Chicago, and we. Uh, on, it was. It was our our, uh, our brilliant casting people. Uh, Myrna. Myrna. I'm Myrna sorry. That's right. And Myrna. James. Myrna, and James Myrna. Myrna. Our brilliant casting people brought uh, put out the word in Chicago, and we got okay. to cast these folks. We got to talk about this crazy con. <laughs> 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 it's the funniest thing ever. Is to convince somebody that. The head on a coin. We were so proud of ourselves <laughs> in the writer's room. I day. love it so much. And I can't believe you cooked it up. I thought it was a real con. This was cooked up. This it was, was. We earned our pay that day. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And that was. We were. Our backs were starting to get a little bit against the wall at that point. Yeah. As I recall, the, the writer's room was underpopulated. A lot of people were off writing yeah. uh, and shooting. And uh, so it was, it was just a few of us, and, and time was running short. <laughs> <laughs> and suffice it to say, this con would not work now in 2015. That's right. it, it, but this show, of course, takes place in 2002, before the era of smartphones. That's right. I mean, it's just... Uh, it's, it's funny, when we watched this, Naomi was like, don't they have phones? And I was yeah, like, but you can't no, send a picture. Not really, no. And in 2002, you really you weren't sending a picture of a, hey, would you check this out for me? Would That's you run right. this? Yeah, 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 you can just Google, Google it immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just Google it, yeah. Yeah. This guy did do a good job. That's, but mm -hmm. still, I have to say, people fall, still are falling for all kinds of crazy cons that you can you can learn about can on Google. You can quickly. Google yeah, something and find out, and there are still people flushing hundreds of thousands of dollars. This I love this story, Bob. Trickle down economics. This, yeah. all right. uh, <laughs> and also Sorry. the that, that's it is a great story, and not only that, it's a great con <laughs> to run if you just want to have fun. Even if it doesn't work out, yeah. you're gonna have a blast. That's doing right. It. And this again, this is the one act later, you have another enormous monologue. Yes. This is this one that's a different it's a different monologue, but it is another monologue. It is. But these yeah, are what great you thinking. Stories for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I love telling the guy to shut up. Yeah. That's the greatest part of the con. It's like I don't need your fucking help. <laughs> it's such a the human manipulation is everything. Yeah. The story is yeah. fun yeah. and clever and, you know, surprising. But it's all about this guy doubting me, him overhearing it, me telling him to shut up. Now it's really a con and he's really smart because he's really caught me. So later, the turn is faster. 
for him. So now we get this great phone call. And, and I, I loved, I loved, love the way you, this how, how you cut this, Chris. Also, yeah, it's just, beautifully it's, cut. I love, I love what Mel does coming up here with his hands. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of smacks them together. That's right. I kind of just sort of like, uh, like. I don't know. Thinking about it. Yeah, something about that. A little well, Oliver Hardy beat there, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is kind of. Man manipulating thoughts. Peter, I think I said to you, mm -hmm. I, reading it, I felt like well, I would never be tricked by this. It's so ridiculous. No, to me. but you're not. And then the way you you're tricked it off. This. I'm so tricked by it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they really. I get why that yeah, guy. It is. You know, nice the movies it. don't actually move, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is just a trick. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the story I tell in a weird way. It has yeah. everything to do with the cell. A guy yeah. doubting me, yeah. calling somebody mm -hmm. in front of him. Secret, secret mm -hmm. information he doesn't share. Choosing and, when he turns. And Keith is so. Key to this, you know, yeah. he doesn't say a lot, but those little mm -hmm. those reactions guide He's you. Sitting there, it. being the smartest guy in the room, yes. as right. far as exactly. he knows, yes. as far as he is That's very right. sure of. Right. Yeah. Then this is this is fun. This is fun. You wonder who is he calling? <laughs> Can you still call as we record this? Is there still a time and temperature? Uh, I'm phone sure number? there is. Yeah, somewhere there the is. world will we, end when they kill that. Nervous. You used to be able to dial, you dial the word nervous. That's how you got it in L.A. Oh, really? really? Yeah, that's how you got the time and temperature in L.A. Yeah. Dial nervous. <laughs> nervous. Come on. It's true. Still that happen. can't be true. That's interesting. It's true. Yeah, that's cool. Didn't need an area code, just because we had to do that. Yeah. Well, listen, I got to go, all right? Uh, thank you. Uh, I owe you one. Okay. Yeah, this, this was... It's this weird was, to hear the real voice, because we had a, a, you know, the... The editorial players in there for so long. That's Alicia's right. voice was there for so long. Oh yeah, true. Alicia Weaver. But is that a, is that a, so is that a real? Rec I mean, is that no? Is that's that's a, that's, sure. a, that's a loop group, loop group person. Okay, yeah. One of our loop group folks. And this was you know, for me anyway. This was uh, a fascinating scene to try to shoot and rehearse because it's it's like a play. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's it's such a long uh, such a long sequence. And uh, I, this was one of the. Th I was so happy that um, that we were able to rehearse this uh, yeah. a couple of days earlier. Uh, yeah. it, it just made it made. It, I, I am such a believer in rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. There were a lot of scenes in the course of the season that were helped by having the time to rehearse. Yeah. I'll bet. Which is tough to do on a TV schedule, but Very hard. always worth it. I would think. Always. How, yeah. How many days were you guys in this bar? Total for the whole episode. Two. To, really, all of this wow. in two days, this including two days, the yeah. teaser. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two days and and a couple hours rehearsal. Uh, wow. One of the that earlier days. That is impressive. Long days too. I remember seeing the time codes, <laughs> like what time it was at at night or in the tomorrow morning. When yeah, we'll oh. finish shooting. All the posters and all that, that's all dressing, right? That, None of that. No, 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 no. A lot of those are the... Some of it's dressed. Place. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's, yeah. it's a combination. Nice. Nice. Tony, but that wall that you're looking to the right here is all fake. There was a uh, there was another confusing area there. Oh. But this is... Uh, that, that's, that's the big so, one. So, Mr. G, what uh, music are we listening oh, to? Oh, yeah. Henry Mancini and his orchestra, Banzai Pipeline. This nice. is a 1963 track. From a movie? Uh, no, actually, it was uh, it was one of his sort of standalone big band jazz tracks in the sixties. Uh, you always find us great music, my friend. Yes, you uh, this do. This one was Garrett from our team who found this one. We we oh man, we swung at this so many different ways. Then we had a fifth of Beethoven in here. Uh, what else did we do? We had um, we had uh, uh, Miles Herbie Davis. Hancock. Yeah, Camille Miles, Miles Davis. Miles Davis camp. was the one I was fixated on for a long time, but it was it was so abstract and laid back. Uh, this gives it. A structure and a little more the, energy yeah, yeah and more energy absolutely kelly originally cut this to this is all kelly by the way uh oh. you cut this to that miles davis track and then this when this song came in it was like it was like an aha yes that's Did she true. not want to pull her hair out and say oh my god i gotta recut things now uh she it, didn't she did oh. she didn't it although this sequence it's it, you can't tell seeing it how complicated it is! Oh yes, I mean, it, it seems in it a good seems way. So it looks effortless. effortless yeah, it, but we had a, we had to have a special meeting with our facility, yeah. and they just had their hands and their their heads in their hands. 
Diane, yeah. and all of these these signs, uh, the art department designed them, and then we built them in CG and kind of layered everything on top of it. That was the last piece to come into it, actually. I love this con. Is this a real con, guys? Or this you is, cooked it? This is a real con that's going on somewhere right now. It's called, called the Tar, 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 the tar Money. Oh, sure, con. yes, yeah. yeah. And really? he's, he's gonna, yeah. This guy's gonna put up a lot of money to get a lot of a lot of Ruined long hundred dollar bills. Black, so black paper. Of Russell Crowe. Yeah. And of course, these are the our two wonderful waitresses. Yeah. Amy and Jessica. <laughs> so how hard was this, Dan? Uh, this is probably the hardest, one of the hardest things I've ever put together <laughs> in my career. This was very, very hard. And when you say put together, because obviously Just all Peter the pieces directed and, it and Kelly um, edited it, yeah. but, but you, what do you have to do? Here? Um, you know, well, because all of these pieces had to be color <laughs> timed first, and then mm. all the layers had to be put back together, That's and then we did another pass of, of color. There's speed effects, there's compositing, you know, right here with the money. All that had to be rotoscoped and layered and... Oh, um, that's so cool! Is so that shot or There's hundreds hundred of man hours? That's, of work. Yeah, that's that's thousands our that's our high speed hours. camera. Hundreds, hundreds, probably thousands when you count Kelly's work. It's, it's Kelly. It's yeah, and she spent a very it long time. Yeah, it, everything had to be rendered because everything had an effect. So if you made a one frame change, it took yeah, ten minutes ten before minutes you could yeah, yeah, I think I sat with Kelly one Saturday, yeah. and we spent all day and probably changed about five seconds of, of material. It was like animating it. Yes, it was it very really much was, like it was like, and it was it was it was but it was it was fun and we really wanted to do a um, it's based on the or inspired by the work of Slava of Workapik. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, and uh, the idea was I, I, when we realized we were going to do a montage, all I could think of was I can't do anything to touch what Michelle McLaren did in episode 2. I don't want to try to compete with that. Well, this is a Let's do thing. something different. Yeah. And this, by the way, I just want to call out, call out Amy Davidson and Jessica Osborne. They, these two were just wonderful, brought a lot of energy. And uh, Jessica, this little look she gives at the end was her idea. Yeah, and nice. I think she's so funny. Really good. Well, yeah, she, she, she had a great right? time. She, she really, It doesn't matter that they lied. She had a really nice <laughs> she, time. Right. Yeah. 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 This one here. Hi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> she, uh, it takes some of the curse off the thing. Yeah. So it's a... And and of course, there's the call back to Breaking Bad at the very beginning. With what, the, uh, the the uh, the the, the film, yeah. Oh, people love that. You know that, right? The I, Kevin Costner. The Kevin, Kevin Costner. Costner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, one of the fans, just tweeted that he wants us to do an episode where Kevin Costner gets arrested <laughs> because he's <laughs> mistaken for Saul Goodman. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Which I think is a right idea. Oh, yeah. That, oh, the and this mattress. is a Tony Fanning set, which you actually did see. In episode four, and it, it's the one of the oddities of this season that this scene, this scene, and the scene in episode four were shot, I think, possibly on successive days. So oh, we were, right. we were, we were. It was a little bit of an odd, an odd combination. Yeah. Colin came in, and he, he and I were yes. switching off directing for a couple of days. Right. Because with, thank goodness, episode four came in so short, mm -hmm. eight minutes short, that we had to have we had to add something new, and that's where when we invented Marco at the end right. of the season. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had Marco if if not for the fact that mm. one episode was too short to air on television. And, wow. and it's the glory of the fact that they gave us so much that we're given the time to do this the way we do because yeah. a lot of shows would have. They would have aired episode four yeah. <laughs> long before, right. long before episode yeah. ten was was thought about. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're very lucky the lead time we have. You guys are so good together, Bob. You two are well, just like you've known each other your whole lives. Oh, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yeah, Mel is the best. What do you do in a situation like this? You try to get talking to the to the person. To the uh, most of the time when actors come into town, I'll uh, call them and we'll meet up. As soon as they come to town, like, wow. first of all, they don't know where to go, so you can, like, tell them how to get yeah. to restaurants <laughs> and things, That's you know. Cool. And um, you pick and then we up, also right? did rehearsals on weekends, um, like on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon if they were in town. Uh, we would get together and just run the whole scene a couple times, you know, nice. talk our way through it. But, yeah, that's all. You just, you know, it's good to know people and, have a good working uh, relationship before you hit the set. I mean, we don't have a lot of time to shoot, so you kind of got to show up ready to go. It makes such it makes such a difference. And, you know, you can't do this without doing that stuff. You can't do it. You got to show up and, and hit it pretty quick. I mean, luckily we had that great, and I never 
stop appreciating it and hope that we get a little bit more. Uh, that the time we took on the first episode of this oh, season, oh yeah, 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 the extra yeah. days and the rehearsal, yeah. especially with me and you, yeah, mm-hmm. and still we hit it pretty quick, I would say. Yeah, oh, you, you but guys, but yeah. we needed that time. This yeah. is a complicated relationship, oh, yeah. and you you're just meeting these characters, and so prepping is everything. I love how you guys calibrate the emotional relationships between each other and then also between you and Marco, you know? It's so mm-hmm. consistent. You know exactly who has sort of the, the, the leader role and who has the follower role. And, and we, in this scene, we find out that, that Jimmy really hasn't cut the ties with Chuck. You know, even after everything that happened in episode nine. Well, you can't do that. You know, you're uh, still related. Absolutely. It depends you know? on your family, doesn't it? Well, yeah. I <laughs> but, but, but I agree with Michael. You can't, you can hate uh, a, a family member, but they're still your blood. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's very. Un- I mean, there are some things I suppose are unforgivable, but I mean, these two, they're still, they're still blood. They still love each other. I'm fascinated that by that. I, I grew up in a family where there was always the threat that people would never talk to each other or see each other again. Yeah. That that was that was constantly banned, and it happened too. It happened when I was a kid that there were certain family members I never saw again. And but that doesn't mean that they weren't important to me. So do you never, you know, I, I feel yeah. like even when people do that thing, cut each other out, they still think about each it's other. True. Of course, yeah. every it's true. day <laughs> they have, right. they have, you know, imaginary arguments with uh, yeah. people they haven't seen in ten years because yeah. it all the time, and that's fascinating. Can't, uh, also, I'm not sure how much of his reasoning here is an excuse. I mean, yeah, he is thinking about Chuck. And he's got to have some worry in him. And he also is thinking about his clients. He does like those old people. Mm-hmm. But yeah. then there's also just, I can't do th- what? I'm yeah. just going to keep doing You're this You're going to keep being. I'm living, he's living in a basement yeah. apartment, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So that looks like a pretty busy week that they had there. Yeah. <laughs> just judging by that. It does. It's incredibly expensive monologue. It looks like they were working pretty hard. It yeah. does. And, you know, they, but I think the thing that, that's true, and I think that makes sense, is that con artists don't get rich. Not this kind of. They, no. Maybe if you're in the banking industry. If you're selling but, the Eiffel Tower. Or but uh, but uh, they, they usually end up, you know, day to day. And I love this little. I have to say, I I, uh, I love this little moment with Mel. This was yeah. one of the things. Yeah, I was, it's really great and I really so well ex- played. I was so excited about this, getting a little bit of air with him by himself. It's really good. <laughs> Reminds me of that moment when he realizes that he's going to go do the con in the bar. He just has this little smile. Mm-hmm. He just realized yeah. this is what he's been hoping. I love the smile here when he hears the wolf call. Yeah. That's sweet. He's so likable. He is. He loves Jimmy so much. We all want someone. I mean, he who, has, who's, what, six scenes in the whole <laughs> series? Yeah. Yeah. And you care about him so much. Yes, you do. And, you know, that's that was scary to us. You know, it's oh, very yeah. dangerous to introduce a character. We were say, afraid you wouldn't you wouldn't like the guy. Yeah, you wouldn't care about yeah. him enough. You're right. Yeah, we didn't, and it wasn't really until we saw Mel, or at least I'll speak for myself, until I saw Mel and Bob on the set, and I said, "Wait, these two guys have a relationship that matters." Now the sadness is, how do we? You know, he's 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 expired. You we can can't. only well, you can flash him back. That is true, yeah. and don't think we haven't talked about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. yeah, we're talking about it now. Exactly. <laughs> He's gotten his old shirts out of the closet. <laughs> Did you uh, st- any of these sneak off the uh, the wardrobe truck uh, and wind up in your personal wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. I've taken to I'm never going to see a shirt like this again. Taking it home, and I'm never going to wear that. <laughs> I don't want to have it. Halloween. It is kind of like shirt. the old Steve Martin, the Wild and Crazy Guys uh, shirt. Yeah. Like one of those ones they would wear. And those shirts are made out of oil. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that is, they can That's burn. True. They can burn. That's it was true. on fire when I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something that was very interesting for me was shooting this scene and then having being on the set the next night when Colin shot the scene from 104. So this was shot the Ferris. night before. Oh this God. was shot the night before the call, and and part of me was just interested to see. I, I would have rather had it go the other way because then I could have seen what Colin did. Right. <laughs> they go so, together great. Yeah, though. they do. No, it's and it's it's it's. Uh, it was it was really interesting to do. I it was a scene that I was so worried about because you want to get the emotion and uh, the twist to it, but not. Not overplay it, and 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 Bob, you do. You and Mel both do such a beautiful job here. 
And Dave scores. Yeah, nice. Dave scores. That's right. Music Good point. And this is as emotional. This is as emotional as Dave's score really gets yeah. all season long. Yeah, Dave Porter is our wonderful That's composer, right. nice. and and this is a beautiful piece of music. Yeah. I don't mean beautiful as in I mean beautiful as in perfect for yes. the moment. And, yeah. And and enough emotion, but not too much that yeah. it gets mawkish. Or, yep. You know. And it's a it's a fine line. And Mel's sweetness in his face. Yes. Yeah. He plays dead good here coming up. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. He, it's, you smack him in the face and he doesn't move. It's, 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 it's good. It's, it was scary to watch in dailies, actually, to see him die because it, it, there's such a reality to it. Yeah. And that's hey, hey, the magic hey, of performance. Hey, hey. I love the way you play this. Oh, part. yeah. You're really freaking out here. It's just, yeah. I mean, just, just great. I remember you were a little worried that people were going to come running from the surrounding buildings because uh, you were yelling so loud. Yeah. I don't want to wake anybody. Yeah, this was like like three in the morning or something like that. I have no yeah, idea. Probably it was like two. It was, two. Oh no, it was like three. Yeah, it yeah. was really. We had a late. a couple all nighters. Love doing this scene and this guy with the giant ears. This guy's <laughs> great. He's so good, this guy. Yeah. 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 Talk about how the Sorry. top of the shot here is 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 married to a oh, video yeah. effect. Oh yeah, we had actually. Um, you'll see coming up. We had an extra. I'm not sure how it happened, but the extra crossed in that scene there. And that really? first wide shot. And then shot. we saw him again. You'll see him again. It's the guy carrying the bag. He's got like the there's like baseball shirt with the different colored sleeves. He's gonna walk by in a minute, but he also walked by in that other shot. <laughs> so he was easier to take him out of the first one than the second one. So. It, it was funny because in editorial, the two halves didn't really go together, and they were they were juddering, and it always looked yeah. like the yeah, church. It, it looked did like, the best I could. It looked like the, the church was gonna was gonna there fly go. away. That's him right there. And this this guy this this gentleman is Mark Jeffrey Miller, who was just he did a great job. Perfect. Yeah, he, you know, once in a, usually it's it's about being open to what the actors bring. You always want to do that, but this guy embodied exactly what I, what I pictured mm -hmm. when I wrote this little scene. So great. Yeah. He he really was great. And I remember uh, we were all so amused by the idea of the guy at the funeral saying, "Well, you get some, you get a couple Love bucks that. for that." <laughs> <laughs> It's like everybody in this fictional Cicero is on the table. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they're all on the table. All of life is just got price tags on it. They look at the world, they wake up and look at their toast and see a two yeah. cent price tag. <laughs> <laughs> and we got very lucky with the weather too, because it was overcast yeah. outside the church, and then you know, you get the the, the so hard Chicago. sunlight in uh the hard sunlight in in uh, Albuquerque. Yeah, very yeah. lucky. And that church is awesome, Chicago. -y. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And does it need to be mentioned again? This church isn't. It's all in Albuquerque. This is all Albuquerque. I mean, it's yeah. supposed to be Chicago. I, 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 I yeah. sincerely wish that we had gone to Chicago to shoot, but it, it well, just, no, that was great. It wasn't, it wasn't necessary, yeah. fortunately. And you guys wet it down the sidewalk and mm -hmm. whatnot. That was a good Absolutely. touch. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Warner Hanlon and his crew probably and, and, took good care of that. And I tried to. I, I was thinking about trying to keep this part compositionally a little flatter because in the in the alley we were you know with the short lenses and, and you know the things coming towards the camera and this is just this is all feels a little bit flattened out which which you mean is longer lenses longer so lenses backgrounds and, a little out of focus yeah the backgrounds a little out of focus and also kind of flatter compos a little bit flatter in a couple places so it was just to give it a little variation emotional variation That's cool. but i love the way you guys play this yeah and of course with this this wonderful this this wonderful cast, Ray is out on the middle of the, in the middle of the street on an apple box doing the conversation with you. Yes, oh, yeah. and it, it's on, one of the on things on Bob's side. On Bob's side, and then your your you came down uh, early to be uh, with her on her side, and it, and it keeps it makes the conversation so much more real. Well, the body mm -hmm. language chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know who they're talking to on yeah. the phone. Yep. Yeah. You guys are great. A lot of, a lot of, a lot we're, of actors and shows don't team. do that. Yeah, yeah, you guys are a good team. That's exactly right. Yeah. So Ray's really, in other words, really standing just off, That's right. off camera here talking to That's Bob. right. Yeah. And she always is in a good mood. Is it she? Is, which is a little, Ray, just a little nervous. Yeah. She's Wonderful. Amazing. She she's is amazing. She's a sweetie. She is. That's a nice shot. Beautiful. I like that shot. That was... Uh, of course, all the, that has to be a period hearse. That's right. So... Uh, Dennis Milliken and his crew have to find that. Oh, oh here's the so so man. So I love this Master scene. class and passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> a little pinch of lonely, do you think? <laughs> I think so. I do you think do you think how do you think Chuck's feeling now? 
Um, good, good question. Generally tasteless. Fuji's should be in season. It's not a major issue, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brandon Brandon Hampton, who is. No, oh, great job. Rushing to 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 please his boss here. You don't even need sound in the scene; <laughs> just the faces and I love the body. The play this, Michael. Yeah, there was a longer cut that I, I loved too. That would just it just ended up. It just ended, but the, you did you did so many great little improvs at the very end. It was it was painful not to use them all. And I love how he switches his energy when he sees Jimmy. Different guy. Yeah. And, of course, uh, Chuck uses, uses uh, his full his Ernesto. Yeah. And Jimmy calls him Ernie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ernie. Hey, That's a nice how touch. How you doing, man? Good, good. So Howard's got you looking after Chuck, huh? Yeah. It's a few extra bucks, you know. I think it's been said before, this house is also within easy walking distance of uh, uh, Jesse Pinkman's old house. You could practically throw a rock from one to the yeah. other. Well, that makes the tour easy, doesn't it? <laughs> well, the, you yeah. know, maybe there's, a, maybe there's a little bit of a story tie-in. Maybe Jesse has a really loud party. And yeah. Jesse is 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I remember that. That's a good That's an early starter. He started partying very young. That's right. <laughs> I love how you play this, Michael. Yes. This is so nice. Yeah. It just he's a proud man who who I don't think it's electric uh, uh fear of electricity here that keeps you in the house. I think no, it's pride. But I do also think that I've been chased inside by events. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that it's not so much the the current, it's it's what it's what's what the current's out there within. It's you know, it's done business with him before. Life begins to feel like a, a, a an electromagnetic field. All huh. of it. Yeah. Well put. Yes. I'll be there. And it's such an efficient use of Mike. Yeah. You get so much out of him. I like that first shot you did up, up from behind. That's a nice introduction to him. He's our guy. I mean, it's... Uh, it's. I love this cue, too, Dave. Yeah, yeah it's great. This what is this? This is Dave Porter. Dave Porter. Dave Porter. This little score. bit here has a little Lalo Schifrin-y kind of yeah. mm -hmm. feel to it. A little bit of moving on, a little bit of melancholy. Yeah. Very tricky moment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, that's probably Howard's car, isn't it? Yeah, the Jaguar. I like I like you shot the, your, your, your compositions here in this, uh, Peter. Oh, and the moment of decision is so beautiful. And, you know, we like... I think we like bold compositions. We like to do things that that. Have. I love that shot. Yeah, the ring and, nice. and the shot. It's so beautiful. Someone was saying it looks like he's on the coin, like he's, mm. he's Kennedy facing yeah. Kennedy facing oh, facing really? east. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I love our fans. I, I would claim that, Peter. Yeah. 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 I say you got that. They're so much smart. It. They're so much smarter facing, than we are. Facing east, facing right. death. Facing east, yeah. facing death. That's right. Oh, that's. And oh, now he's man. now he's going the other way. We need so. them on the writers. There we the do. We run. do. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. You guys uh, are so good. It's together. a dynamic yeah. duo now. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's the only one you can say this to. That's true. The only guy. Yeah. How is uh, how is it working with Jonathan? Why didn't we? It's the very Why best. He's uh, you, saying something you know, the right he loves his job. He loves acting so much, and you can just the energy that comes off a guy like that who's just grooving on it so much is the best thing ever. It, it makes it powers the whole scene and the whole day, and uh, he's a crazy pro. Too. Yeah, but it's just the joy that he emits when he's got a role like this. <laughs> you know, he knows he gets to do a moment like that right there. Yeah, I love this. Good use of deep purple here. Deep purple. Yeah. Yes, what a nice way to close out. Thank you season. for getting us deep purple. Yeah, oh, thank you, thank you, Thomas. So yes. fun. How'd you get that? Uh, we asked and we threw money at them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm suspecting money changed hands. Yes. <laughs> I love this last shot here. Yeah. Right. It's, it's almost didn't make it. It's filled with deep, deep hidden meaning. Well, that was uh, yeah. that was a great one. Great Sweet end of the deal. season. Well done, Peter. Well, well done, well, Bob. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys. Vince, good so job. Fun. Whole Everybody season. Everybody brought it. And, uh, and and thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna Ramey. Thank uh, you, AD, who took me took me through this. 
Scratch and yeah. screw it. Yeah. That's great. Absolutely. Coming back Quietest AD ever. Yes. Right? She's amazing. Somehow it gets done. Absolutely. Yeah. Magic. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you.